Hey guys, Joshua Peterson, Peterson Electric here. I want to talk to you today about Arc Fault Breakers. This is a CH panel from 1972-ish. Um, not sure if I'm so sold on them. A lot of you guys who hate Arc Fault Breakers and don't like them, this is a dedicated fridge circuit. There's nothing else on this circuit whatsoever. And go ahead and here we go to see how wonderful this thing explodes. Finally got it to blow up. Thank God they're repainting the place. Circuit three. My point, how much impedance could I really have from here to here? I know that I don't have any nails or screws in this wire. And I know this is aluminum, but one arc like that just basically broke this 12 gauge, 10 gauge aluminum in half. Thank God they're painting walls, right? Bottom line guys, we're doing this whole apartment, which is not large at all. It's a two bedroom apartment, laundry, kitchen, whatnot. We're doing all the pigtail copper splicing, probably about 50 devices. Um, here's all our two port, three port connectors in here. So there are some cities that are requiring that if you change out your plugs and switches and GFCIs that you put in arc faults, they do have the dual combo GFCI AFCIs now. But um, these Cutler Hammer CH arc faults are not cheap. Once we get done with this, we can suggest to the owner, would you please think about doing arc faults on this? Um, breakers do age. Have they really arced over this whole time? Probably not. But as they've aged and carried current running through that switch, they still can wear down. Uh, plastic dries out, especially in Colorado. Tenants are hard on it. This place is probably 45 years old. I'll give him a suggestion on changing out these arc faults and give him a price, but I know CH, AFCI, and duals are not cheap whatsoever. So um, again, in this city that I'm working in, they don't require it. Um, so. We really don't require permits on plugs and switches whatsoever. But um, the other thing to keep in mind, guys, when you're doing your aluminum pigtail copper splicing, you have to use a torque screwdriver. You can calibrate it, pick your inch pounds. As you twist, it beeps, tells you when to stop. I do that in every single two port and three port connection. Of course, if you use the twist caps, they don't have that. So you have to be very careful stripping it long and very gentle across the top of the insulation and also where you slice or splice it. So again, guys, thank you for joining us. Hopefully to help show you. But yeah, you guys don't, don't believe in arc faults. I do. That's a great thing to show you. Bye.